America, the enormous pressure today is on making profits. If I make profits in a large corporation, and most of America is owned by the large corporations today, we don't have Theodore Roosevelt uh, you know, running the country. We don't have the first President Roosevelt to break up the monopolies, to break up the monopolies at all. So these corporations are focused on profit. I was told that in the top 500 companies in, the, in, in America today, the average compensation is $10 million. So their focus is on profit. But profit is not a measure of success in the long term. Productivity is. You can manipulate. I, I graduated as an accountant. And you could manipulate profits so easy. I mean, one thing about profits, which is so funny from the accountants, at the end of the year, everybody tries to make as much as you can. Because the accountants came up with something really crazy. If you build up inventory, it increases your profit. Even though you didn't sell it, you're making money. Well, that's nuts. So General Motors would build up their, make as many automobiles as they can in the last couple of months of the year, and then they give big discounts at the beginning of the year, and General Motors went bankrupt. I mean, General Motors never learned lean. Toyota opened up a joint venture called Numi in, in Fremont, California, and because they were afraid to come to America. They didn't know if they were going to be accepted. So they said to Ford, let me teach you lean, or let me teach you the Toyota production system. And Ford said, no, we're not interested. And then they went to General Motors and said, General Motors, yeah, you can teach us. They took the worst plant in the system. General Motors had about 200 plants. They took the one plant that was closed because the union was so terrible, so bad. She said, well, you can take that plant. Toyota took it. One year later, it was the best plant in all of General Motors. It took them one year to take the worst plant to make the best plant. Just one year. And General Motors never knew how to take it from that one plant and transfer it anywhere else and went bankrupt. I think a key point as well in that is that they hired back the same people that were making it the worst plant. Yes. So Toyota approved that it wasn't about the people. It was about the process. Right. They were um, all the union people. And there's a fantastic podcast that. about this. Uh, it's a This American Life podcast that you can find. Just look up New Me, This American Life, and you'll find it. It's really, really good. So why isn't it prolific? Well, the system is a little bit messed up now. And the senior people don't really understand the power of lean. Uh, 